Hi everyone and happy Monday! We have another planner page to do. This really lovely picture, this is from Worlds of Wonder and uh, it's one that I've really enjoyed doing before so it's going to be fun. Um, I'm going to be using my Stedler Design Journey um, pencils. I was just going to show you that I have this swatch chart which is available for free on my Kofi and it um, you can get a blank one to swatch yourself or you can upload a scanned version of this which is pre-swatched but and um, so you can use that it tells you what pencils are included in which sets 12 the 12 the 24 the 48 or the 72 um, so you can use that if you wish um, also I have some comparison charts in there so if you don't have the Stedlers um, you can match them to other brands that you may have if I haven't done one that you would like done let me know in the comments and uh, I will uh, I'll see if I can do it, depends if I've got the pencils. Right, let's get on with our picture. Now, just having a quick glance, we can see we've almost got two halves. We've got a below the C bit and above the C bit. When I start with my colouring, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to colour away. And then when we get to the end, we'll do something different with the sea and the sky to make them look like they are different parts of the picture. But I'll show that to you later much later not even in today's video but let's crack on um the first thing i'm going to do is the main sort of land mass i think that's a good place to start it's quite a daunting bit um for me particularly but if we make a start i'm sure it'll all work out nicely so i'm going to start with 16 and i'm going to do i'm going to start at the top actually let's come in a little closer can't come in too much closer because we need all the land in the picture there we go so i'm going to start up here and i'm going to just start coloring now i want to color around all these little details which is why i've picked this brand of pencils um you want a brand that is easy to sharpen to a nice fine point really to get around the details i could have used black widows um, they would have worked, um, polychromos would have worked. I think I used them really recently in a planner page. I'll try to mix it up a little bit for you. I have the used Castle Art Soft Touch before for fine details, um, but you do have to sharpen them a little bit more often. So uh, I just wanted an easy life. And uh, I also know this had the colours that I was planning. Now, I very recently coloured a similar picture to this. Um, from this book, in the main book rather than the planner, um, this sort of lighthouse island one, and I use these sorts of yellowy colours on the uh, ground, and I really liked it, so I thought I was going would do it again. I actually didn't use Stedlers though; I used Chromaflow pencils, which again is an option, but mine are getting a bit short, um, particularly the greens. So I thought I would um, use something else. Um, yeah, my I've got the um, 24 Chroma Flow, so they're getting quite used up. But that's okay. I'm enjoying them, and that's a good thing. You know, I think used up pencils is a positive thing. It shows you're enjoying them. Um, shows you, um, yeah, you're using them. Um, I've only got one set of pencils that I've only used once, and they were a set I bought for myself actually, and this bit looks like it's got grass. Can you see these little tufty bits? I'm not going to colour that bit in. Um, yes, it was a set of pencils that actually weren't particularly good at pencilling. <laughs> pencilling. Um, but they're really, really pretty. And I thought I would use them for photographs around, you know, to sort of set my art. You know how you see these really lovely photos where people put some pebbles, some glass beads or... Um, sort of precious stones or they put plants flowers or pencils around their work to make it look pretty i thought oh i'll buy these pretty pencils i'm just going to sharpen this and um, i'll be able to do that so i bought the pretty pencils and the problem with the pretty pencils is that each pencil has a different theme to the picture on it so they don't match each other so you can only use one per picture maybe two and when I try to style a picture, I'm just rubbish. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, it's not my um, it's not my uh, skill set. So I was like, no. So I didn't do it, and I haven't used them. 
and they're sitting there very sad um, I really should pass them on to someone but they're pretty um, but they I can't remember what they're called um, the pencil set they're actually the wrappers on the pencils which are the pretty bit you know they're on the barrels and the box which is gorgeous are designed by someone who makes the most delightful stickers wrapping paper things like that I'm not I don't think she does colouring books but um so yes a great admirer of her beautiful things but the pencils themselves unfortunately this sort of kids pencils you know they don't really blend um they're not very vibrant quite hard um as a uh, but never mind I'm going over the lines a lot here now the good thing about doing this background first is because now I know I'm going over the lines a lot it means that I can be kept when I choose my green leaf colour for these flowers I can think well I've got to go do something that's going to lie on top of this um, ochre and not look rubbish so I'll probably want to do a darker green you know so that's fine I don't know why I'm not colouring over all this really I mean I never know whether this rock is in front or is it a cave I'm always a little bit confused by that I shall have a look at it carefully in a minute but I still want it all to have the same base colour because it's all the same rock and then we can just mess around with some shadow and shading and things like that I mean this bit for example this is got an edge that goes up there it can't really be a cave I don't think I mean this bit butts in a, like a tree root but uh, anyway we'll have a look in a minute just get some basic colour down I think this might be quite a long series again with this one but it's a really lovely page so I hope you'll enjoy doing it um, this is probably my favourite of Johanna's books to be honest um, although it comes close to Ivy and yeah I used to Enchanted Forest used to be my favourite and although I still like it I've coloured it so many times that I'm sort of leaning towards ones that I haven't coloured so much um, I'm not going to say I was going to say which is my least favourite but I don't think I'm going to say that um, so anyway you might guess anyway but <laughs> I'm not going uh, to say but uh, I think I'm just going to sort of Taper this off a bit across the edge, like that. Okay, oh, you can't really see, it's nothing special. And then go back up here. So, I hope everyone's having a good Monday. I'm not sure what date it is. Oh, the 8th. Yeah, so um, I'm getting a little bit ahead in my videos because um, my husband is having the 1st to the 14th. Is that right? Um, no, he's finishing on the 27th and then he's not back to work until the 16th. He's got quite a lot of time off work. Just looking at my calendar, sorry. What's that? Um, anyway, yeah, he's got quite a lot of time off, so, uh, he's, uh, because he only works three days a week anyway, it really extends his uh, his time off. So he's basically only taking six days off, but he's ending up getting um, one, two, three, fourteen, twenty one days off. So he's quite astounded himself about that. But um, it's going to be good because he's finishing a particular job off and then this week and then he'll be done with that project and he'll start a new one when he goes back so he's got nothing to carry over to worry about to do while he's away because I've been finding it's a bit annoying that what happens is that he's working supposed to be only working three days a week now he's only being paid for three days a week he's working longer hours while he's there and he's doing work in the evenings and on days when he's supposed to be off because his team, one of his, both of his team members are single and um, they live alone. So they often work long hours or, you know, 
men um, message each other outside of work time and things like that. And I don't think it's healthy for them to be doing that either, to be honest. But it's like this you're not being paid to do this and a little bit of stuff is okay but this is it's getting ridiculous so I'm hoping that when he moves on to a new project that won't be the same um culture within that team that he's with because it's just not it's not fair frankly you know I feel like he's doing four days a week to work hours but only being paid for three and uh yeah. I mean, there is an expectation when you're in IT that you stay ahead of the game with regards to learning new things and packages and things like that. Um, some companies will pay for courses as long as you don't move jobs within a certain time period or actually have to pay, repay it, which is fair enough, I think, and uh, things like that. But mm, it's... Uh, it just doesn't feel quite right. I do feel like he's much more productive now he's only doing three days. So he's already doing more work when he's there in the office. But anyway, they're having a bit of a moan. <laughs> oh well, I suppose it's, at least he is being paid, which is good and guaranteed money, um, which is nice. We need it to pay for our bathroom repairs, our shower problems which uh, I haven't heard back from the plumber. He said he wouldn't be able to start till July anyway. And recording this is still June. Oh, itchy eyes, trying to, get, trying to get recording done in the mornings before um, tennis starts in the afternoon. I sort of forgotten because I was like, oh, I just get all ready for Wimbledon. And uh, yeah, that's great. But no, I forget that the grass court season in the UK starts um, three weeks before Wimbledon. And they show it all on TV, so there's loads to watch. And uh, I rather enjoy it, but it's okay. Now I'm going to do a bit underneath again, like I did over there. There we go. Sorry, you didn't see. Now we have a cave here, I think. I'm really confused by this. Because this fish is coming out from a hole here. You can see that you can only see part of the fish. I hope you can see. I'm not zoomed in very well. However, these grasses are growing behind it. How are they growing behind a hole? It does my head in. But I'm going to colour this in the same base colour as well. And uh, what we're going to do next is colour all the greenery. That's all the things that are on top of this background. I've missed a bit here, though. And then we're going to come back to the background and put some darker colours in, some lighter colours in, all sorts of different bits and pieces to do more with it. But I think getting a base down has helped me see where the background is and got a bit, a big chunk sort of done while I nattered. And then, um, right, there is that bit rough it's very rough it's going to be improved later okay so I'm going to come in a lot closer now to do the greenery so I'm not going to do these trees and things that are on the outside we are only going to do the green bits that are actually on the rock let's get the word right on the rock oh excuse me so we'll start with this I'm just going to grab random greens I think number 52 and I'm going to do this bit that's hanging down here. I'm going to try and fade it off a little bit towards the tip. Not really showing up very much because it's such a small area. Yeah, I didn't get any recording done yesterday, but it was rather nice. Well, some parts of the day were nice. My son was poorly one of my boys, which wasn't nice. And um, I'm going to use number 551. Um, yeah, he's it's, it's got like a nasty sore throat temperature, 551, and uh, just felt generally rotten with in bed. So I was sort of looking out, out for him. And my other son was downstairs doing some revision for his um, driving theory test. 
and who's doing bits of revision and then chatting with me about different things. It was really nice to have a morning with him on his own. Just noticed a bit I've missed here. Um, having a chat and stuff while my other son was in bed. And um, obviously I was keeping an ear out for my other boy. Right, these bushes, we're going to start with 57. This batch and this batch. Okay, so I'm going to use the 57 at the bottom and then fade it up a bit. And uh, so we had a lovely chat and I was looking after my other boy. Today, um, he's feeling a bit dizzy. I think he's probably very dehydrated because uh, he wasn't drinking much. He was, he was being ill, so he couldn't keep water down. And um, he uh, yeah, just generally feeling very rotten. And it was a really hot day as well, but, you know, I was difficult because I encouraged him to drink and then he was ill so it's like oh but anyway he's um he's okay today he's a bit dizzy but I think he's taking it easy little drinks that sort of thing and he's bright and cheery which is nice number 56 and laughing which is lovely so my other son is up in his bedroom today doing bits and bobs he's going out tonight as well I think he's trying to push on with some stuff because he's going out tonight. It's his friend's birthday, they're going out. I don't know where they're going. I don't know if he knows where they're going, to be honest. They just go and hang out in town and see where the, see what takes their fancy, really. They're all sensible. Well, he's probably, my son's probably the most sensible, to be honest. Last colour is number 17. And I'm going to take it right up to the edges of the bushes. So, uh, so yeah, he's going to have some fun later, I'm sure. But he's got some... He's making videos and things. Um, I think he's streaming this afternoon, actually. And tomorrow I've got an electrician coming. There we go. I quite like the look of those. We've got these... Um, we've got quite a few sort of pine trees. I'm just looking, actually. I think it's these and these. So I'm going to use, is that the 38? No, I'm going to use the 38. It's quite bluey green. I always think it's quite good for a pine tree. Um, yeah, my one, the main bathroom light, one of the lights is broken. So getting that fixed. And the light switch, it's all rusty and horrible. It's a sort of brassy looking one, so it's going to replace it with a white one, plastic, um, which won't go rusty, so that's better. Probably get filthy, but that's okay, I can wash it off carefully. There we go, pine trees. I think they've got, um, yeah, they've got little trunks, I'm just going to grab a brown. Let's use this one, 76, my feet are so cold. It's uh, mad. It's really hot today again, um, but my feet, I couldn't sleep very well because my feet were cold, but um, I noticed the bedspread had been pulled up the bed a bit so that it wasn't over my feet. This is 50, but it wasn't pulled up um, on me because I was too hot. Oh, it's just silly weather. It's going to calm down tomorrow. I'm going to rain. Hooray! I like the rain. <laughs> We can't go out today again. That's my son being poorly, but that's okay. Um, I haven't had a walk, but it'd be too hot by the time my husband gets in from work. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll go out tomorrow, I expect. Oh, I don't know, I've got the electrician, haven't I? Never mind, we'll see what happens. I might better go out in the evening, but then the tennis will be on. <laughs> I'm sort of putting my life on hold for the tennis. It's just my thing. Although I was watching football last night. Now we've done a sort of rough. Now what I want to do is try and make it look more grassy by putting some sort of stripy bits on. Now you have to do this with purpose because if you do it a bit too 
um, if you're a bit shy with it and you don't really make it show, then it looks like you've just coloured in a scruffy mess. But if it looks like you've purposely tried to make it look like grass, then it's better. Um, I think I'm going to use another colour. Oops. I'm going to use go back to the 52, which we did use earlier. I'm going to give it a sharpen. And I'm going to draw in a few more tufts, like Johanna's drawn in tufts. I'm not breathing. <laughs> Concentration. There we go. I've been wanting to do another Chris Cheng video. I find they really inspire me to improve my colouring. Okay, now we've got a little door here. I can do this little door. Hard to know what colour to do it because I might want to match it in with the doors in the rest of the picture but I think I'm just going to do it in a sort of wood look. So number seven and that might just help me develop some ideas for the main picture. And if I don't match it up it doesn't matter because it can just look like it's trying to camouflage itself here in the wall. Now I'm going to grab the 77 and darken up a few bits. So I'm thinking that outside frame I won't do any more on, but I'll put a bit more, a bit around the edge of the frame, some lines around just to darken it up. That's it. Now we've got these little mushrooms. I haven't forgotten these. There's some at the top, some here, some here. I think I'm going to do them all the same colour. I'm here. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to do the things that weren't, but I think it makes sense to just do all those together. So I'm going to grab this colour, which is the 260. I'm going to do them all this colour. I'm not only going to block them in because some of them are so teeny tiny. It's quite tempting to put some little um, white dots on them, but not not right now. I am wondering as well about these tufts of grass. I should have done them, I think, in the colour that I did the main grass. I'll do them in a minute. Is that all of the mushrooms? Is there any of those? Yes, yeah, none under the sea, surprisingly not. Um, oh no, I knew there was some. I knew. Well done for any of you that noticed before me. Gold stars again. Well done. Um, tufts of grass. Um, I'm doing this sharpen. So this is number 50. And it's going to be these around here. So these here. And the ones down here. Um, I think I'll do those differently. They don't really look like grass. And the ones below the water don't either. So I'm just seeing if we've done pretty much done everything around here. I've got this pretty floral bit and these. So let's do those, um, these first. Thinking I'll just grab a different green, just give it some mushroom variety. <laughs> Double gold stars if you missed, if you saw that one and those. Um, so I'm going to use number 579. I was going to try and fade it towards the tip, but because the tip was covered in the other grass colour, I needed to just really um, get it down quite intensely so that it covered that yellow. Quite tricky when they're so small. Now, I think these flowers here are look different to these, so we won't do them the same. Um, hmm, are we going to stick to a colour scheme yeah I think I'd do these orange um well I do oops number four I'm trying to get out of the tray for these now I'm going to do the centre and the petals the same colour just because it's easier it's quite tricky when they're so small to uh pick out what's the petal what's the centre 
what's a leaf, etc. I can manage, but sometimes my eyes can't. But today they're managing. And just colour them in. What I find interesting is I wonder sometimes whether I should have a computer screen showing me what I'm filming because it would be a lot bigger. You can see what I'm doing in a lot bigger magnification than I can. And I think sometimes it might help me. Yeah, anyway, I'm seeing quite well today. Sometimes my eyes just go weird. I think they just get tired. But especially as I'm working in a dark room. I've even forgotten to put my lamp on. There we go. So, uh, sorry about that. If that was really dark before. Because I can see all my scribble lines now in my hill. But that's okay. Now the petals, um, I think I'd do them quite dark actually. I'm going to do them in this colour, the 55. They'll show up quite well then I think. Again, they're too small really to do anything fancy with. And what that means is that we actually end up getting the picture done a lot more quickly than we might think because there isn't lots of shading and different colours to choose because we can really only fit one stroke of colour in each little section. Right. I'd quite like to go back to doing the rock now but I think we'll finish do the below water bit as well. Um, there's quite a few plants growing under there. I'll do these flowers first. Um, where does that go there? I'm thinking this colour. It's a little bit darker. This is number two. It's actually supposed to be a red, but I always think it's very orangey. move underwater. Let's come out a tad so we can just see all of the plants and things. We do have some rocks down here as well. We'll worry about those later. This bit here looks a bit seaweedy so I'm thinking maybe I'll do it in a brown rather than a green. So I'm going to choose the 703 for this. Just so it's a little bit different. These look like see, I can actually draw these in Johanna's um, how to draw book. She shows you how to draw these, and I can do them. It's about all I can do. I can't do grass, but I can do seaweed. Basically, you draw a line with branches coming off, and then you just tr go round it like that, and then you erase the bit in the middle. It's quite straightforward. Right. Um, Grass, 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 grass. Let's do that next. Um, I did use that colour. Let's be consistent and use the 50. I did say I wasn't sure. I think I will. So I'm just going to, again, just, you can, might be able to fade some of these a little bit, the longer ones. Towards the tip if you want to. But really, with the colour this pale, there isn't much we can do. I have gone over the tips quite a bit in the yellow, so they'll end up looking yellow. It's a bit there that I missed. I'm just going to grab the 16, give it a good sharpen. Let's go in there grass down here. I'm just trying to work from left to right, filling in little bits. I'm still pondering what that is there, that little triangle. Is it another tower of the house behind? Or is it um, a bit of the rock? Mm. Is it 
something growing on the rock. I don't know. <laughs> oh. So I hope everyone's having a good Monday so far. Yeah, that's done. Ooh. Now I need a darkish green. I'm going to use number five for some of these leaves because I've gone over them a lot in brown. So I'm going to do all these in this. like this and then the same with these teeny ones down here which again I coloured over quite a lot by mistake and then these I think these look like the same they're the same as the ones on the other side yeah I wonder what you're all doing today I always get up in the morning and plan my day um, it's, uh, it's a rather a good thing to do don't always get everything done of course but it's a good way to you know get started let your brain know your intentions it's number 57 and do these leaves here um, so today I plan to get these videos made and um, what else did I plan not much um, watch some tennis <laughs> Yeah, that's a few here too. Um, I'm only using this colour, it's my favourite. Now over here, I think I use a different colour for these. I'm looking at the ones on the edge. I think these and these are the same, but not the same as these. So I'm just going to do these. I'm going to come out a tad or so I'm going to, when I do my box, I'm going to forget. So I'm just going to do these and... I'm going to grab this colour. This is number 550. It's a new colour. I'm going to do, they're quite small, um, biggish, I mean, not small. So I'm going to do a rough colour over them, like this, quite light. And then I'm going to go a bit darker this side of the stem. And that one on that side. And then just take the colour up from the line a little bit. If it's too fiddly for you, don't worry about it. It's just a different way you can colour it. There we go. Now, oh, got this one here. I think it should be the same colour as this. Um, it was this one, wasn't it? 703. There we go. Now all the rocks, now I'm thinking that, you know, our building is this sort of sandy colour. The pebbles could be a similar tone, because um, it might have broken off the building, or we could just do them quite randomly dark or grey. I think I'm going to do them this colour thinking about it this is the warm grey 85 it's quite dark um, it's quite brownish rather than um, grey I'm making them darker at the bottom than the top I know this one isn't overlapping the um, building but I'm just going to do all of the stones now in all the same colours stones, rocks, pebbles whatever they might be I need a coffee already. It is 10 o'clock. Definitely time for coffee. I'll have a look in a minute. How far have I got? Oh, I've done a fair bit. So we are almost there. There's some this side. I'm just looking to see if they're any further up, but there aren't. Oh, but we've got a bit of this. I'm just going to do that because it. I might forget. I'm going to get to the next video. I might forget that I did it in 703. Hmm. 
You don't have to, of course, do them all the same colour. It makes it easier for me once I've decided what colour to do a certain thing. I can do it all that colour. Just makes it easy. Now we have these four fish, which are going to be the last thing I do. Let's come in a bit closer. And then you can see a really scruffy background um, rock, which I will work on next week. Next, sorry, tomorrow session, not next week. That'd be a long time to wait. Um, I'll work on in the next session and make it much neater, layer it up, have lots more different colours and things like that. I've got some ideas. Um, but I want to do these fish. Now, what colour? Well, I've got a sort of orangey colour scheme going on, orangey brown. So it's really tempting, isn't it? To do them orange. That's what I'm going to do. I've also got a couple of trees that I don't like that I'm going to change before we finish. This is 42. I'm going to do the whole fish in this colour to start with. Same for all of them. And then I'm going to layer over with another colour on some of those um, sections. You'll see. So that's that. Then I'm going to grab oh, a pencil carefully, number 24. And what I'm going to do is just do a few of these stripy bits. So the head and every other triangle is a slightly different colour. It doesn't really show up, does it? I think I pressed a bit too hard with my original colour. There we go. It's okay. And the last thing I'm going to do is these pine trees look blue, which I don't like. My intention wasn't ever to make them blue, it was to make them bluey green. So I'm going to go, try going over them with number 53 and see whether it makes them look a little bit more green because it's a sort of yellowy colour. Hoping it tones them down a bit. Mm, maybe. Let's layer that over again. Hopefully now when I come out, it doesn't look like I've got blue trees. No, they're better. I think they're better anyway. So this is where we are today, where we're at. Um, yeah, as I say, first part of the next session will be working again on the rock on the island and getting that all looking good. But as I say, you can see what I was trying to do, get all the details done on there and then we can know what we're colouring around and things like that. For me it makes it easier, it might not make it easier for you, but hopefully um, hopefully we can, uh, you can join me tomorrow and we can finish it. But um, finish this sort of rock bit, I don't know if we'll finish the whole picture, there's a lot going on, we'll find out. But thank you for watching today, um, hoping that you have a super Monday and happy colouring.